Hi, everybody. It's Susan Kerbick. I am here on video three, and I have a feeling this is going to be the last video uh, for this set that I'm doing. It's Thomas John, the Seatbelt Psychic from the Thomas John Experience. And he is doing a show with Lisa Wexler in Connecticut because Thomas John is going to be appearing at doing one of his his spirit reading whatever things in Connecticut so this is something where he's doing to promote the show get tickets buy your tickets and when they when they do these show these shows they get them for free right they're they're not paying for radio time and people are lighting up to go to his show it's great publicity because they're people who are listening to the Lisa Wexler show are usually fans of Lisa Wexler and they think highly of her. And of course, since she's endorsing Thomas John, he must be the real thing. So, okay, this was recorded or at least it was published February 24th, 2023. So very recently. And he's taking calls and he just got off the phone with Mike from Stanford. And I was telling you guys that there are, um, Hot reader and cold reading. We know Thomas John's a hot reader. He's not very good at cold reading. At least in my experience, I've never seen him even get close to some of the better uh, cold readers. And he is, um, the first video is the one where he talked to Lisa Wexler's uh, very specific information, hot reading. The one I just uh published which was he talked to mike in stratford is a cold reading and i expect this next one's also going to be a cold reading because he does not know who these people are even though the scanner the person who's scanning them before they go on to the show knows who they are and probably some information and lisa probably knows something because She's got to know something. I mean, whatever the scanner is telling her. So I'm going to be coming back and forth. If you haven't already listened to this, please um, um, go down to, I mean, if you're curious about listening to the audio before I get to analyze it, I'm putting the video with the link of the time in the description box in this YouTube video. And you can just go to that link and it'll start right where it's supposed to, where I'm starting right now. And then what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to listen to the reading. It's only going to be a few minutes. And then you're going to be able to, you know, take some notes and see if you catch what I catch or if you catch some stuff I haven't even thought of because I'm doing this cold myself. So I don't, I don't know. Let's find out. So I'll be going back and forth, but because it's audio only, you're only going to get to see me. So sorry. Here we go. The phones are lighting up. We only have a few more minutes. We'll try and take one more call. And then I think we've got a special caller on the line as well. So let's go to Mike from Stratford. Mike, not, 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 pardon me, not Mike. Rich from Bridgeport. Rich from Bridgeport. You're on the air with Thomas John, the psychic medium. Hi, Rich. Welcome. Yes. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Thomas. Hello, Rich. Um, Did you have a nothing... question? Nothing particular, uh, but several years ago, within a six-month span, I lost my mom and my sister. Oh, and uh, thank you. And I'm just wondering uh, if they're up there looking down on me. Yeah, let me ask you one thing, Rich. Um, can you just, so I can just zone in for one second because we're on the phone like this. Uh, what year did you lose them? Uh, it was 13 years ago. So 13 years ago, and you lost them kind of within six months. Yeah. My huh. sister passed first and then my mom. Okay. So I do want to tell you this. Um, Rich, I feel like your sister knew that she was going to be passing. Was she sick or ill? Yes. Okay. Because I'm, I definitely feel like she showed me about two or three months before she passed her soul decided that she was going to be leaving. So I almost feel like, you know, maybe there was extra time, but I, I just, I feel that she was not an exit point. Okay. Where was your mom? Because I don't feel that as much. I almost feel like your mom, it's more like, even though she was older, for some reason, I don't get as much health stuff around her. So I, I almost, 
And sometimes I will tell you there's like what I call almost like parallel soul journeys. And it's almost mm-hmm. like one soul goes and so then another soul goes. Because I feel like were your sister and mom very close? Yes. Yeah. Because I almost feel like your mom's spirit was like, okay, now I'm going to go be with your sister. And also, Rich, I want to ask you, um, who died from... Okay, stop. Because I need to be able to do this. I am taking notes. But remember the sitter. It's coming in hard and fast. They don't have the time to uh, to take notes necessarily. And they don't have the time to really think about what's happening. So a lot of times they will help the sitter. I mean, this the, the medium and give them a little more information so that they'll help get along the thing especially since he knows he's only got a few minutes with thomas john were the mom and sister close hmm what do you think okay so it was 13 years ago that they died they died within a six month uh span i don't know if that's unusual or not the man does sound like he's in his 50 60s range he's not a 20 year old or anything like that so his mother um would probably be about 70 when she died ish and so his sister would probably have been about 50 ish so um you know it's it's kind of a guess when you say it was she ill before she died well most people who die either die by accident a suicide um or an illness, right? Am I missing something? Accident, illness, suicide. Uh oh, a violent violent death. Okay, so if it's not a suicide and it's not an accident and it's not a violent death, it's an illness, usually it does take a little you know, they're not doing well for a while. So I'm not really sure about that. Uh, she decided her soul decided she was leaving i mean your soul can decide you're leaving and what if you don't want to go and what if you have a disagreement with your soul about it i mean do you get you get a vote i mean he's just making up stuff okay you guys it's just making up okay let's go let's continue i think it's very close to ending hopefully cancer oh who died of cancer? Sure. Oh. okay I'm seeing my sign from cancer. Did your mom actually go through that with her? Was your mom kind of like helping her around her, things like that? Um, earlier on, well, my sister, uh, the cancer she had had for a few years, and then she went into remission, but then it came back and it came back full force. And by then, my mom passed. You know, she had dementia, so. Uh, oh. Matter of fact, it, 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 in conversation with somebody, I was going, you know, there's only one good thing about my mom having a dementia that I didn't have to go and tell her that she lost one of her children. Right. Yeah. Well, they have, you know, there's a different energy over there. I mean, and I, I think when somebody has, but maybe that's why I felt with your mom, it wasn't so, I don't know why I didn't feel it was so dramatic or something. Like with your sister, it felt like it was like this big thing that happened. But it feels like with your mom, it was more of like a, almost feels like a peaceful, you know, transition. I feel like, I feel like your mom, but your mom and your sister are, are definitely together over there. Also, um, did your sister have kids, Rich? Oh, yes. Okay. Sure. Because I feel oh, like she's showing me, yeah, I feel like she showed me one of the kids. Okay. It's like, I don't know if you reach out to one of them a lot, or it's not like you're not close to the, but I don't know. Is there one of you that you kind of have formed a relationship with, or I don't know why I feel that. I definitely feel that. Um, Not one particular. Okay. Is there a daughters? Are there daughters? No. No. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Me, I'm you know, Also, I'm seeing this. Um, I don't know if you're aware of this, but um, your somebody keeps showing me. Okay. Before I find out what that is, with whatever he's being shown. Okay. So this is just a bunch of gobbledygook in a lot of ways. Um, okay. The sister dies first. Rich from Bridgeport told him that, and then six months later. The mother dies as if that is relevant and it's painful to the person who's going through it but it doesn't really have anything to do with one than the other unless i guess one got the other sick okay so who had cancer 
Now, I bet when this phone calls over, Rich from Bridgeport is going to tell his family, oh my gosh, I was on the call on the Lisa, Lisa Wexler show with this guy, this amazing psychic. He got my sister, whatever her name is, and um, he knew she died from cancer and that mom's cool with it. Or I mean, it's all over. She didn't have problems. But did Thomas John get cancer for his sister? No. You can replay this if you want, but I guarantee he said who had cancer or who died from cancer. Okay. Number one reason for people to die is once you become an adult, that is, if you get to your adult years, number one cause of death um, is heart disease. And I believe number two is cancer. And COVID's probably way up there now. But um, so if you say, I feel something from the heart, something to do with the heart, okay, I'm getting cancer, some kind of cancer. It's not much. He didn't say your sister died of cancer. He said, who died of cancer? And he, and Rich from Bridgeport says, my sister died of cancer. Okay, you guys see the difference? It is important that you know the difference because those are not the same thing. He did not say your sister died from cancer. He said, who died of cancer? It just so happened to be the sister. Uh, was mom helping? No, she had dementia. She started helping at the beginning years ago whenever the sister had cancer the first time so i guess no your mom wasn't helping towards the end and sister has had has five boys he's the rich snuck that in oh thomas asked did she have children that's a no are there daughters no and thomas did say there was five boys. So uh, Thomas wasn't paying attention whenever he said that. So he's got a lot of no's here. Oh, were you close to just one of the children more than the other? Well, not really. I think we're really are nearing the end here. Hang in there. And I don't know actually if it's your mom or your sister. But somebody keeps showing me that they send cardinals. So I don't know. Do you ever get like weird things showing up with cardinals or do you see cardinals or do you ever have um, that happening at all? Uh, occasionally, yes, I do see them. And uh, I, I think about them because, you know, that's what people say when you see a cardinal, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, it's yeah. like the loved one. So, yeah, I yeah. see them I, occasionally. Okay, yeah. Yeah, well, I definitely feel like those two are together over there, but it, it almost feels like in a way that they had a soul contract to kind of pass when they passed. And it's almost really? like, I don't know, that's what I'm feeling, that they just had a, a had a, had a soul contract to pass. Um, to and pass it together. just feels like they were supposed to be together over there. That's kind of what I feel. Mm -hmm. Rich, I'm gonna I'm gonna say thank you. My sister Jill Zarin is on, and I feel like you'd be you better go because my famous sister is on the line, and I only have a few minutes in the show, so I <laughs> you need to go take your cardinals with you and your sister and your mom who have a soul contract, which means zero zip nothing, whatever that means, a soul contract. So Thomas, are you saying? They have to die within six months of each other to be together on the other side? Or could the sister have lived another 10 years and had still died and then been with the mother on the other side? They wouldn't be together if they didn't die within six months. That made no sense whatsoever. You're just making it up, right? Cardinals. You live in Philadelphia? What, what are the chances? I mean Connecticut. I'm sorry. What are the what what are the chances you're going to have cardinals in Connecticut? I don't know. I don't live in the East Coast. If I saw a cardinal here in California, I would be very surprised. Do cardinals know that they're actually just sent from heaven? 
it's, do you think they know that? Do do scientists know that cardinals mean that they came from heaven? And the only reason that you would see a cardinal around is because they were sent from somebody from heaven. If if your sister or your mom sends you a cardinal, does that mean nobody else can see the cardinal except you? What if other people are going by and they go, hey, there's a cardinal right there. Would that cardinal, would, would that cardinal be your sister's way of saying to the stranger, hey, cool, how's it going? Or does a stranger walking by see the cardinal and go, that cardinal was sent by my, my uncle. And would Rich from Bridgeport say, no, that's my cardinal sent from my sister. I mean, or can the cardinal be sent from the same, like the cardinal represents two totally different strangers looking at the cardinal at the same time sent from, look, you guys, there are no rules. This is not real. This is just silly, all right? He's not sending, nobody's sending coins. Nobody's sending cardinals. They're birds. You're not talking about like a cardinal, like a baseball player, right? It's a bird. In the East Coast. I gotta look that up. I, I need to know now. I'm just reading the Wikipedia page for cardinals, the birds. There's an awful lot of cardinals. I didn't know there's a lot of varieties. Some of them are not red. Okay, so their habitat is from Canada to northern Argentina and uh, Uruguay, with Central America having the most concentration amount of species. They're found year-round in the central United States and the eastern United States. West Indies, western United States, Canada, Bermuda, Hawaii, not California. We don't have them out here. We do. It's in a zoo or it's just some freak of nature. We don't really have many cardinals on there. At least I've never seen cardinals. Wow. What's the likelihood you'll have a cardinal in Philadelphia? Oh, I'm sorry. Connecticut. I keep getting wrong. East Coast, you know. Okay. How did Thomas do with Rich from Bridgeport? Did he get anything right? His sister and his mom, Rich told him, Rich told him when they died 13 years ago, Rich told him that they died six months together, within six months of each other. Um, I think Thomas said, was she ill before she died? And Thomas threw out did somebody die of cancer? And it turns out, just so happened to turn out that he she died from cancer. What was going on with the boys? He asked about, does she have children? The answer is yes, because Thomas didn't know she had children. He didn't know mom had dementia. Rick had to tell him about that. Rich had to tell him about it. And he asked if the boys, one was more, he was more in touch with one boy than the other. And I don't remember anything happening. And are there any daughters? He had asked. So the answer is no, there were no daughters. Well, I'd give him a zero. How about you guys? I don't think there was anything there. That's pretty, pretty bad. So I don't think there's any more readings on this one. I know, um, because I had fast forwarded way to the end and to see how long this was and all that. And what happens now is uh, Lisa West Westler has texted her sister, Jill. And now Jill's there and they're going to go on and on about Papa Jack and they're going to talk about Papa Jack and stuff. So that's all related to the first video I did. I'm not going to go there. It's, it's not, there's nothing important, but the the link is going to be in the description of here. If you want to go check it out and listen to it yourself, and then you can come back in the comments of the video and you can say, Susan, you are all 
you were all wrong. You missed everything. Oh my gosh, he was spot on. No, I think this is a really interesting series. There's three videos now. Well, there will be once I get them uploaded because the first one is a hot read because he knows who he's going to go see, who's going to be on the show with. And the other two are examples of, are of unedited cold reads. They're very short. I thought it was interesting that there were both men because we usually don't see a lot of men that get readings. It's almost always women. Uh, what's missing? Nobody's name. He didn't name the sister, didn't name the mom. He had to ask if the sister had children. He had to ask who died of cancer. He had to ask if there was any nieces. He had to ask if she had been ill before she died. Um, and how long they'd been gone. He had to ask. It's been 13 years. So he should, I would assume, have been able to get in there. I mean, if there was any kind of evidence, maybe, but no. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. And there ain't none here. So that's about it. Um, I'm going to try to do some more videos on maybe other psychics just like this. I think it's interesting to see them all in a group like this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have um, something you'd like me to evaluate, please let me know. My email is Susan Gerbic at um, yahoo.com or gmail.com or you can find me on Facebook or on Twitter. And um, you can leave a comment underneath this. Please send me the best evidence, the best reading you've ever had or know of that I can look at and let's evaluate it. I, I'm curious what there might be out there because let's go. I'm let's, let's find this great evidence. I've got a whole family of people I'd like to contact and be in touch with and see how they're doing. Okay. Check out my other video series on John Edward. If you're interested, there's five, no, four videos for that. And I think they are so interesting, very different from the Thomas John ones. Okay, have a great evening.